It's raining pork chops in Canberra. The citizenship declaration process that in theory, was supposed to clear up the Section 44 mess once and for all, has simply ushered in a new round of fighting and uncertainty. Of both major parties trying to out-outrage each other, even though they both have MPs with citizenship question marks. Amid this, the only truly fresh name to emerge from the piles of paperwork MPs submitted to the House of Representatives on Tuesday night, was Labor's David Feeney. Feeney, who has enjoyed only brief and junior stints on the frock beck, will not necessarily be a household name. But he is well known in Canberra and exquisitely well known within Labor circles. Before he was elected to Parliament, Feeney held various ALP positions, including Assistant National Secretary and was a high-profile factional dude. Although they aren't quite as tight these days, he rose through the ranks with Bill Shorten and has been thick as thieves with the Labour leader. Feeney was also one of the faceless men right in the middle of it all when Julia Gillard toppled Kevin Rudd. Feeney has been a member of Parliament for a decade now. He was elected as a senator for Victoria in 2007 and in 2013. His ambitions took him to the lower house, where he inherited the North Melbourne seat of Batman from Martin Ferguson. On Tuesday, almost five months after Scott Ludlam kicked off the citizenship saga, announcing he was a surprise New Zealander, Feeney revealed he could find the paperwork to prove he had renounced his British citizenship ten years ago. In a tortured explanation, Feeney conceded he was still trying to, to access historical electronic documents. Those searches are ongoing. So the High Court looms for the MP, with a by Alexio sitting off to the side as a distinct possibility, something that has Labour freaking out. In 2016, Feeney barely held off a challenge from experienced Greens candidate Alex Bathel. Just over two weeks ago, the Greens romped it in against Labour in the state by Alexio of Orthcott, which takes in some of Batman. If the Liberals decide not to run, denying Labour their preferences, then, as one Labour MP says, we're in deep shit. Labour insiders are puzzled and stunned that Feeney could stuff up such a major piece of paperwork. Not only is he regarded as an extremely smart man, but the ALP prides itself on the rigorous checking and legal advice that underpins its nomination processes. MPs are required to resubmit their credentials before each election, making it all the more puzzling that Feeney's situation could have repeatedly slipped through the gaps. But then Feeney and paperwork do have a troubled history. Back during the 2016 election campaign, Fairfax Media revealed he had failed to declare a $2.3 million House to Parliament's Register of Members' Interests. Feeney unconvincingly put the error down to a maelstrom of events. He then did further damage to the Labour campaign caused by leaving confidential ALP briefing notes in the Sky News waiting area after an interview, in which he also failed to answer questions about Labour policy. Some Labour MPs believe if it were to come to a by Feeney would need to think long and hard about Rico the seat.